All right, so I just want to do a video on just like the maintenance I do on my knife. Uh, I do this about every two weeks. Uh, this is my work knife and I do use it for work. So I go through these like steps that I do every two weeks and um, just want to go over them with you guys. So uh, first of all, just a quick question. Um, none of the glues that I that I used uh, worked for Kydex basically. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a Kydex sheath using something I talked about before. So it's, the, it's I'm gonna try to make the kite sheath as thin as possible, and I, and I want to like show you the process of doing that. It's not really much different than than this, than just a traditional kite sheath. But um, would would you want uh, like a step by step video or basically just the highlights? So um, that's the only question I had. So besides that, um, the first thing I do is just we'll clean it, and then you can do that with. Uh, just soap and water. You just have to watch out, of course, for the edge. This is ex extremely sharp still. Um, for things like that are kind of like adhesives. So if you're if you're cutting like uh, tape in a box or so things like that, that'll get stuck on your blade, or sap from trees like a like a pine tree, things like that. Uh, sometimes I cut um, like there's these little shoots that come off the the trunks of redwoods and stuff like that, and I'll use that for this. I mean, I'll use this this knife for that. For those kind of things, I uh, use alcohol. And basically, alcohol is a solvent and it'll get rid of it, but you have to you have to pour it on and then have something to wipe it off. Because if you just if you just uh, use your, th whatever, your thumb, I mean, I guess people wouldn't use that, but alcohol, you need something to wipe it off because it'll just move it around and it'll become sticky again if you, um, if you let it dry. So I'll do that first. And then after that, um, I'll, uh, I'll go through the next step. But I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna do like everything. Everything. I'm just gonna give you the gist of it, give you an, an idea, and then after that, I'll I'll move on. So just to show you, no major like necessity. Like there's no chips or anything that I can see so far. But um, it's just like just regular maintenance. Nothing. Nothing big. And we'll see in a second if I actually have to um, use the stones or not. Yeah, not so bad. So yeah, so I'll finish cleaning this and then I'll go to the next step. All right, so now that it's nice and clean, um, this next step is to determine what's the other step afterwards. So uh, back in the days, the samurai, this is, it's a weird transition, but um, they they understood that whenever you sharpened your knife or your blade, that you're basically taking away life from it. Uh, in terms of, of uh, service, in terms of just longevity, it, the more you sharpen it, the more, the, the less of the knife there is. Uh, that's just the, the simplest form, I guess I can put it. But so, so this next step is, is, trying to figure out uh, what what type of abrasion I'm gonna use next. So either I use this, a strop, or the stones. And the way I figure that out is, so first, don't do this, but this is what I do. I just run my nail, and I'm just pressing lightly. And if there's any flat spots, and I can feel two, they don't feel like flat spots, they just feel like, like little grabs. One here. If I press down hard, it would cut through my nail, but one there and then one here. All right, so that's one thing I do. And the next thing I do is um, I just look down the edge. So so I, I, at a good light source, and it's actually, I don't think I can actually show it here. I'm gonna look down at actually at the edge first. To make sure that the edge is clean, and what I'm looking for is is uh, shiny spots, and everything looks fine. Yeah, everything looks fine. So the only place that maybe possibly is here, but after just cleaning it, it looks okay. It's hard to show. So what I did was I looked towards the light and then just look down the edge 
and I'm trying to figure out if there's any shiny spots on this edge. If there is, that means that, that it has a flat spot. So, and no, that looks fine. It looks fine to me. So, if it had a flat spot, and I do this every two weeks, so if it had a flat spot, I would have to use the stones to, to um, basically go over the whole edge and then bring that back to an apex. But it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it does. So we'll just do a strop on it and that's it. So before I do that, I'll just show you how it cuts. And it's still sharp, of course. Okay. Let's see if we got, see that little two spots where I, where I talked about it grabs on those two. So we'll see if those go, go away. It might be just a little burr or something that will just, um, not a burr, but a little imperfection that might, that the strap might take away. If it doesn't, then I will we'll use the, the stones. But yeah, so, and then for a strap, you can make a strap out of anything. I personally have just a plate of steel, stainless steel. And I just put a, um, you just need a, a good, a good piece of leather, just something with a, with a, with a very compact grain. And, and that's it. And just glue it onto it. You can use a two by four if it's flat enough. You can use basically anything. So, I'll get this in. So basically what I do, just this. And I do this because I don't want to do more than when I need to. Um, not, in, not because I'm like lazy, but because, <laughs> because I don't want to uh, waste this thing away if I don't need to. So just as much as I, I have to, and that's it. And I'll go back to testing it on the paper, see if those things are gone. Okay, I think almost. Let's try the paper again. Okay, so that's fine. All right, um, like always, if you have any suggestions or, you know, any help actually, that'd be great too. If you wanna see me um, you know, if in the future, if this thing has like a little, like uh, a flat spot or something, like you want to see me go through the stones, I use the Spider Coast stones. Uh, let me know and I can do that too. I'll just have to remember to do it. Okay. All right. All right. So I almost forgot to add this in. The last, last step would be if you have like a carbon steel or even a stainless steel, um, knife would be to add oil on it. So, so to re-oil it because everything that you did in the first step to clean it, is gonna take all those oils off. So I don't have to do that actually because this is Vanix, so I'm fine. But just remember, the last thing you do before you put it back in the sheath, oil it. All right.